hey folks, PC7 here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Spectacle Island for Farm Sim 17. And uh, I'm going to uh, <laughs> attempt, and I do not use that word lightly, I'm going to attempt to get our header home. And I'm thinking I probably should have gone the long way around. I don't know that this is going to fit around the corners on the death trail there. Hmm. Well, ah, what the heck, eh? That's the worst that'll happen is it'll fall off and roll down the cliff and be lost in the river. Yeah, I'm sure that's the absolute worst that could happen. So, yeah, kind of funny. I was uh, looking at the local Facebook here yesterday, and uh, we had our own little farm sim thing going on. There was... Uh, on a lot of the sites, the buy and swap and all of that stuff. Uh, again, the local ones. It was uh, desperately in need of a tether in the middle of haying, and my tether is broken. Does anyone have one? So, I guess someone came through though, because uh, I see this morning the same person was posting that they now have hay bales for sale. So, and yeah, no, it was one of the actual local farmer. So. Yeah, I thought that was kind of neat. I thought at first it was one of the farm sim posts, but no, it was actually a, a real slop and shop post. Oh, I don't believe it made it across there. Wow. That was uh, almost the worst part of what we have here. <clears throat> it's actually this one corner that I'm worried about being such a long load. Maybe if I can get right out to the edge, we'll be all right. There we go. Get the wheels on the boards. Ooh, there's another bad corner. I am really impressed that has not fallen off of there, let me tell you. Really impressed. Okay, and there we go. I think we're uh, pretty much home free. Wow. And yeah, for those of you that left comments, and I do appreciate it, um, I will try and remember to enable the dev console when I do map reviews. That way we can have a little more precise control over knowing what is and what isn't on the maps, i.e. triggers and stuff like that. But, um, yeah. See, the thing is, like, right now, yeah, I'm running the dev cons. But when I load a map... I don't just load a new map and mod file. I basically take all of the files out of the subdirectory of FarmSim. So it's a blank folder. And then I reload the game. I just put a, an empty mods folder in and reload the game. I'm trying to find a good place to park this up. <laughs> They're just... You know, you can't back it up. So you sort of have to be able to pull up alongside and drop it off. But yeah, I run a completely... Uh, fresh instance of every game so I basically have to enable the console every game well not every game I mean every map oh I was so sure that was close enough so yeah I often just forget to turn it back on I will try and remember in the future and it is a dang good idea thanks guys all right, there we are. Our header is home. So now, <clears throat> I do need to go down and do some bailing, but first, I need to clean up a little bit. I do, I do, I do. And we have this here for just that purpose. Not a lot, but it's some. 
grab this last little bit. There we are. And let's give it back to the piggies. All 365 liters of corn. There you go, guys. You can finish flossing. There you are. Alrighty. And clean up on oil sheep. Yeah. And black sheep's watching us with great interest. Like, hmm. What's that silly farmer fell up to today? Yeah, he's following us. <laughs> he stops when we back up. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's really funny. Alright, and that takes care of that. Wow, even less than we had of the corn. But it has been a full day, so I figured we should probably do this. And last but never least, the cows. There we are, all cleaned up piggies. Let's see how the cows are doing, shall we? I think it's, uh, it all drains slowly but surely back into the uh, trough. Interesting. <coughs> of course, that's only the one that's right up beside the trough. I guess the hitbox must extend a little ways outside of it. Because you'll see it empties as quickly as it fills. Eh? And it sure as heck not going anywhere else. As soon as I get close to the trough, it empties again. So, interesting. Makes for a much quicker cleanup, I must admit. Alright, this bit we're going to end up keeping, aren't we? Oh, the amount of bumps there. Okay, and I'm pulling close to the trough. And there you go, you can see it slowly draining. Huh. That's pretty funny. All right. I think that'll pretty much cover our cleanup. So let's go tuck this away. No, I think I'm going to need to fill that too. I believe it's down to a very small percentage. And it does help uh, defray the cost of our maintenance, etc. So it's worth doing. But that's all right. It doesn't need to be done right now. What does need to be done right now? Oh, actually, how much does it have in it? Because this does empty a couple times a day. Yeah, the next time around is going to empty it completely. I'll have to remember to try and top that up. Yeah, good luck. Alrighty. Now. Meh. Those woolly crunchies, they're pretty funny. Alrighty. Whoa, stop! I had my finger on the brake all the way down the hill. And it was still going so fast by the time it got to the end, I almost rolled it. Hmm. I read a rather uh, <coughs> interesting discussion on uh, FSUK yesterday. 
that I was kindly directed to um, to do with MR on the maps and yeah as I say it was a very interesting discussion um, both of the main people involved um, not only were into the modding scene um, one of them being Doral, the person that actually invented the MR mod um, but also both farmed so they actually knew what gear should be like and it was basically the same sort of discussion I was having yesterday or not discussion but where I mentioned yesterday that or day before last time we were on this map about how difficult a time I was having even collecting single rows of straw with a tractor that was rated twice what was required for the baler and the argument on the one hand was that um, MR wasn't quite what it should be insofar as determining some things you know um, something to do with the way that the Giants maps actually look at hills you know um, it was really interesting but Doral's argument was that you know it should actually be as hard as MR makes it even to the point where it maybe drags down an incredibly high powered tractor um, you know citing that you know, often in fields that have any sort of a hill, and there are a lot of hills that are much hillier than what we find here in FS, although it's deceiving too, keep in mind, what we see as hills here are not always very accurate, because, well, I mean, this is a 2D picture trying to give us a 3D profile, you know, um, so hills sometimes don't really look as steep as they are, you know, you would have to sort of step well away from the hill, you know, and then look at it from an angle. But Doral's point was that, indeed, on in real life on farming fields, you sometimes have to make the decision of, you know, driving back to the top of the hill with nothing running, and then running your gear only when you're coming downhill so that you could actually do the job properly. Um, and not having run any of this stuff in real life myself you know I can't really pick a side and all that um, but it was as I said an interesting discussion now I know some of you are really pro MR and I know some of you are very not pro MR at all um, And that's also something I'd like to eventually kind of settle for good. I mean, I like the MR mod. I like that it, uh, well, it does just what it says. It adds a slightly more realistic, you know. But by the same token, do I think this is makes for good YouTube where we're going to be dragging ourselves up here at 6 kilometers an hour? That's probably the speed he would bail at, you know. But... If he was doing 20 kilometers an hour, I could do six different jobs, right? <laughs> so. But yeah, I would uh, eventually like to settle once and for all whether you guys prefer these maps be done with MR on or off. Because I'll go with it either way. I mean, MR off obviously uh, makes it much easier on me. I can use far more mods and I don't have to worry about this sort of thing. You know, I can do ten jobs during an episode instead of one. However, there's also the fact that, like I said, this is more likely, you know, if we were bailing a nice thick windrow of hay like this, it probably would go this speed, even though it is a 400 horsepower tractor dragging an implement that only requires 170 horsepower to run. what I'd like to see with the MR mod at some point is that the equipment gets relisted. You know, if this baler is 170 horse in normal, what's the horsepower requirement in MR? And can that even be determined, again, because of the fact that 
you know, MR takes a lot of different things into account that Giants treats a little bit differently. I don't know. It's, uh, it's, uh, I think probably the reason it was such an interesting conversation was just that. Not that either of them were modders, but the fact that both of them had actually driven equipment and still seemed to have a slightly different opinion on how things worked. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. If, uh, if you have a comment either way as to whether you really would like to see me shed of MR for once and all, or whether we should continue to, uh, well, press on and uh, put up with what it gives us. I mean, so far I haven't found a spot on the map where I could not um, function because MR was in place. You know, I mean, even when the tractor come grinding to a halt, trying to bail an eight-foot-high stack <laughs> of uh, extremely wet grass, it was still just a matter of shutting the implement off, you know, moving to the other end of the row, and turning it back on. It's not like it couldn't be done, you just had to, uh, well, work a little smarter instead of a little harder. <coughs> but again, I think Seasons is a mod that should be run in Farm Sim, but we've discovered that it, again, is uh, great for the game, not so good for the YouTubiness. So, <laughs> oh, I uh, just yesterday downloaded the um, premium edition of Farm Sim 17 onto my Xbox One. They had it uh, kind of weird, <laughs> actually. Um, because the Platinum Edition was on sale for I think 30, 30 bucks. But the premium edition, which includes everything in the platinum edition, plus basically the season's pass for farm sims, you get the ropa content, you get the big bud content, you get all of that, but for $25. <laughs> plus the original game, of course. So yeah, at that price I couldn't resist. I don't know how much I'll play it on console, but uh, yeah, if you guys have anything you think is uh, neat that I should try out on my console and farm sim, let me know if any of you play it on the Xbox One, you know. So, and I do have uh, Xbox Live Gold as well, which is why it was on for such a good deal, actually. It was one of the gold deals. But I would imagine that multiplayer on uh, Xbox One is considerably simpler to uh, get into than it was on PC. You don't have to have someone that's shelling out real hard cash for a server somewhere that you hope is being kept up to date, etc., etc. So. So we've got grass ba bays, bales, and hay bales to deal with down here. Um, and that's probably... going to be something I'm going to have to deal with picking up fairly quickly, because I would like to fertilize this before it grows much more. You know, at least the... Uh, the field part of the grass field here. Alrighty. Say we really slowed down here. And yet near as I can tell, this field is darn near level. So, hmm. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you think, guys. Um, it seems like every time I run without MR, I get people coming on and going, "Why aren't you running MR on this map?" And when I do run MR, I get some of you coming on and going, oh, yeah, yeah, MR, blah, blah. <laughs> so, I don't know. 
I don't know. As I said, I think it's a good mod. Whether it's portrayed accurately or not, I'm not the person that can tell you. Really, really not. But. Ugh. I have to take a break from that for a moment, at least. All right, so I've discovered that I cannot use this, unfortunately, because it will not get close enough. And that's as close as I can place the ramp. Um, any closer than that, and it actually interferes with the hitbox, and you can't put it down. So, what we need to do is empty this guy into the proper spot. And we'll just save this unit for actual uh, wood chippery, as opposed to just the base cleanup or the farm cleanup. It's <laughs> always one of them that'll answer. How we doing here? 24 chickens. Do, 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 do. Ooh, next chicken in 4 hours and 19 minutes. Excellent. So it's working. It is working. <coughs> mm -hmm. Sheep seem to have a lot to say today. be uh, making money off it. Awesome. Because we don't have a heck of a lot else going on right now that does make us money. Um, so I do rely on little things like that to defray some of our costs anyway. Nothing in here? It's all picked up? Okie dokie. know that I can actually get in that yard. So that's probably the best we're going to be able to do. If I can, I will certainly go inside and clean the rest of it up. Oh, got that one. That's nice. chunk. And that's going to fill up. Yep. That should keep it going for another... Oh, you can see it's running right now. Wow. Oh yeah, 8 in the morning, that's one of the times it runs. So, good thing, that was good timing that we got this in here. Oh, it's 8 in the morning here, actually. It's 9 in the morning in the game. 
Too many clocks. Is it actually processing this as we're putting it in? Mm, not really. Hmm. Alright, good enough though. That'll get us through a day, I'm sure. So. Let's find a place to park you up. Good enough. Alright, now. Let's go see if we can top up the milk, top up the slurry. Oh, that's a little better. That is better indeed. I think the cell point's down by the shop. Either that or I haven't actually placed it yet. <laughs> Alright, so 2600 liters. Much better. Much, much better. Let's see how we can do here. go. Oops. Not much, eh? That's it. These piggies. What the heck? Walk the heck. Bad, not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, I'm going to back and finish that bailing, but there's really no point in my heading down there empty-handed. So, I'm going to take this fellow along with me. Really? You're going to stop like an inch short? <laughs> of course you are. All right. Let's get our stacker out right there. Shed a little bit of speed here. <laughs> be hitting this corner at 50 kilometers an hour. It'll be the last corner I hit in this tractor. Go nice and 
nice and wide. This is a long load. Whoa. So, so a bumpy bit of property. All right. Now, I'm going to sneak on the inside here if I can. It's not the smoothest way across, but it pretty much ensures I'm not going to dump the thing off the side. I know, you were all hoping. You just come here to see me crash. <laughs> well, that's not going to happen. Whoa, 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 whoa. Too much speed. There we go. And here we are. All right. Well, I'm going to finish bailing this up, and next time around, we'll uh, make an attempt to gather it and put it somewhere. So, hope everybody enjoyed the episode. Again, let me know what your thoughts are on uh, Farm Sim on the Xbox, and uh, what you really think about MR. I would like to uh, kind of get that uh, dealt with one way or another. So, till next time, this has been Species 7 on Spectacle Island for Farm Sim 17. Take care of each other, folks. And ciao for now. Go a little tractor. <laughs>